In the early 1930s, the Soviet Union began seeking an amphibious armored vehicle to cope with the terrain conditions of its many rivers and swamps. In 1931, the Soviet Union tested the BAD-1 armored vehicle, which was a success. The success of the experimental armored vehicle led the designers to a new task of designing an amphibious armored vehicle equipped with machine guns and cannons, and this became the BAD-2. The BAD-2 largely followed the layout of the BAD-1, using a Ford Timken Company-produced three-axle, six-by-four truck chassis. At that time, the Soviet Union imported a large number of such vehicles, making them suitable for conversion into armored vehicles. The design of this armored vehicle initially attracted the attention of the military and received great support as a result. The armored vehicle was assembled using welding and riveting methods, with the body designed to resemble a ship and welded onto the chassis, with some areas riveted. The front housed the engine compartment, which was powered by a 40-horsepower Ford gasoline engine and a 4-speed gearbox, all covered by armor with a ventilation opening on top. The challenge for the designers was to give the armored vehicle the ability to maneuver on water. Ultimately, they directly connected a drive shaft to the rear axle, driving a three-blade propeller at the rear. This connection prevented the crew from adjusting the vehicle's mode of movement, as the drive wheel and propeller would both operate whenever the vehicle was in motion. The vehicle used solid rubber tires for road travel and special wheels for use on rails, which took about half an hour to change. Once changed, the BAD-2 could be used as a light railway armored vehicle. Rubber tracks could also be installed on the rear wheels, transforming it into a half-track vehicle to enhance its off-road capabilities. Behind the engine compartment, there was a higher crew compartment, with the driver's position on the left and a 7.62mm DT machine gun mounted to the right, operated by a dedicated gunner. Behind the driver and gunner was a main rotating turret with a 37mm cannon, with a single person inside and 60 rounds of ammunition. At a lower position at the rear of the vehicle was another rotating turret, armed with an additional DT machine gun, although due to the structure of the armored vehicle, this turret's firepower was only able to cover most of the rear area. The armored vehicle carried a total of 3,000 rounds of ammunition for the two machine guns. The armor thickness of the entire vehicle varied from 4 to 6 mm, with large vertical structures on the sides to reduce weight and ensure amphibious capabilities. Although measures such as welding were taken to ensure sealing, water seepage was inevitable, so the armored vehicle was equipped with a manual pump. The BAD-2 also had a 71 TK-1 radio, a rare piece of equipment in the Soviet Army at the time, as many tanks and armored vehicles did not yet have radio equipment before the early stages of the Great Patriotic War. The prototype of BAD-2 underwent testing in 1932, where it was quickly discovered that the design of the engine compartment was inadequate, with the small air intake unable to provide enough airflow, causing the engine and radiator to overheat after just a few kilometers of travel. The vehicle's weak power made its off-road performance very poor, exacerbated by the enlarged ship-like body. The vehicle also struggled to effectively enter and exit the water, requiring hard land to access water. Based on the test results, the armored vehicle was redesigned, with the engine compartment air intake expanded to alleviate the overheating issue, resulting in the new BAD-3. However, due to various reasons, the BAD-3 was delayed, and the Soviet Army ordered the factory to produce 25 BAD-2 vehicles. Due to the heavy production tasks of the factory, these 25 orders were never fulfilled. The BAD-2 armored vehicle weighed 4.6 tons, with a length of approximately 5.5 meters, a width of about 2 meters, and a height of about 2.2 meters. Its maximum road speed was 50 km per hour, maximum rail speed was 65 km per hour, and its maximum water speed was approximately 6 km per hour.